And we are back. I'm gonna record about three of these tonight. Maybe until I get to the boss, just in case. Yeah, you know what? I'll just record until I get to the boss for tonight. And that'll be it. Again, pointless game that. Before we explore that obvious bomb of wall wall, we go this way. And I'm not gonna go that way because I might be a mini boss. Okay, let's explore the obvious here. Three, two, one. Here we go. Die, you stupid bat. And there's our piece of heart. And now we have five full hearts, I think. Yep. That's a full heart container right there. Okay, mini boss time. Wing it! Bye! Come on, punk. And there we go. I came out of it unscathed. And we got a new item. The cane of pack eye. Or packy. Passy? I don't know. I call it cane of pack eye. This mystical rod has the power to flame, flip things over. Use it to charge up energy in holes and then flip up and flip on out of it. Whatever. Basically, use it on a hole, and you get shot out of the hole. Basically like a cannon effect. So for instance, let's get our new item out. Flip pots over, stand on these, and flip this, and hurry on over. And look, a hole. We can't get to the hole. Or that's the hole, but I meant this keyhole. Stupid. Thank you for explaining something I was just about to. Hey kid, why don't you take that can of pack eye and fire it at that hole? Oh, you mean like I was just going to be going to do before you interrupted? I mean you never know what'll happen until you try, right? Basically Ezlo is right about that. Do this, you'll spin in the hole, jump in hole, jump out of hole. Press switch and go indoor. We are smart, are we not? More. Uh, let me avoid copyright now, so I'm just gonna say more. Roller coaster of doom or something like that. Whee! Ah, no, I didn't want to go back. I want to get the chest, you idiot. Stupid controls. There we go. Push, push, push. There we go. Small key. And now I want to go back. Haha. The trap couldn't catch me. When the hell is that here? It was never there, I don't think. Oh well. Down we go, further into the volcano. I don't have to hold it. By the way, I don't have to hold the stand up anymore. Taped it to my desk. Yeah. When in doubt, use tape. I meant to swing my sword, not use a cane of pack eye. Well, this is gonna be fun now, isn't it? I'm a complete idiot. Complete and utter idiot for doing that. There we go. Oh! I'm a tiny little bean in 
a little world or something like that. I don't know. Oh, apparently I have to be big for that to work. Let's see if I can get out of here or get bigger. Oh wait, now I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's in the center. So these traps don't activate until I get bigger after that. Oh. Yeah, they're slow moving, so you don't have to worry too much, but they speed up after a while. Run! With that. Damn it. There we go, that works. Now drag the switch out of there. It's amazing it doesn't squish the bugs. His face is turning red, we have to hurry! There we go. I'm looking directly at the screen itself, so if you can't see it, I'm sorry about that. Me, 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 my, ooh, chest. Oh, rip off. But yeah, for future endeavors, I'm, ow. I'm gonna use this setting on my camera for when I record on my TV. Because I don't want that stupid black bar in the way. And another one of these stupid things? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, bring happiness and all that. For who exactly do you bring happiness? Okay, so you see the point here. Hell, uh, fail. Hell, that's kind of nasty as hell. Go. Crap, 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 run. Go! Crap! Ow! Sheesh! There we go. Health back. Go. Go now. Go. Yeah, that's steam effect on the game itself, not my camera. Let's try over here. Whoa. Ow. Idiot. Kinstone piece. Waste of time. That little path on the ground will be used later. Don't worry about it now. Ow. Damn it, I can't avoid those stupid things. Wee! I think we know what's going to happen here. First, that's going to die. Then I go up here. Then go over here. And follow the path on this. So going against the wall again. Down here. Over here. Powers too. 
Uh, really? 100 rubies and I don't have any anything anywhere to put them? I love how in Twilight Princess you can just put them back if you have no room. It's like, oh my god, 100 rubies. But wait, you have no room. You just put them back. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to die for a second there. Here we go! Aha! Aha! Higher and higher until we don't know more. Please tell me it's not more rubies. Okay, at least it's not something it can't have. Fire! Why'd I do that? I'm such an idiot. Yep, we're just gonna do that so I can go back. What we're supposed to do is go to the other one over there. Just being kind of an idiot right now. So go to this one. Then go directly to center. Because what's in here is something you'll need for sure. The big key. Or boss key. Whatever. Still, it gets you grant. It grants you access to the boss, which I believe is right there. Yep, right there. Here we go. Time to fight the boss. Before we do that, useless ruby. Harry, yay! Wait, did I have a bottle? Yeah, I did. Crap. Be right back and get that fairy again. Gotcha. Don't know how bad I'm gonna do on this. May need this fairy. Luckily, they automatically heal you, so you don't need to have them. Well, equipped. Bonsai! Ugh. What was that? Ah! It's a dragon! With a weird shell. Like every Zelda game, you use the item you have gotten in the dungeon. You don't want that this spraying all over the place, so quickly diminish them. Get rid of, get rid of. Run! I also want to get around quick, because... What we're going to try to do is get around to his back. Can't fail any of this. Ah! Stupid! There we go. Go in and keep attacking. Keep attacking. Now run. Ow. Stupid. There we go. Who's pissed? Ow. Crap. Umpire. 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 Umpire again. Ah, it's funny, but it hurts. Ah. That's why I wasn't sure about the boss. Okay, I'm not kind of recurring for you guys right now, but sorry, trying to focus here. It's easier said than done. Ah! Sucking up power! Give me a freaking heart. Have a heart. Ah, crap, I missed. That's not good. There we go. You go quick. How the hell did that only work once? Crap. Ow! Stop that. Okay. 
crap. Well, either way, I think he got him to the second phase because he's pissed beyond belief now. Now it's kind of standing in now without realizing it. Booyah. Die! Run. Okay, now this should be the last one. He's really pissed. See? Oh crap. Why is it doing that? I don't know what's going on, but this game is kind of pissing me off right now. Ah! Crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, ow. Ow! I keep getting hit by the stupid things. Okay, he's really pissed. See? Pissed. Stop doing that. Oh, crap. Ah! Thank you. Stay in the corner. Stop that. You know how annoying it is to clear out these stupid things? Ah, frick! No, fuck you. Die! Yes! And somehow Link's in the middle of the fire. See that? Just in the middle of the fire. And I killed his sorry ass. Christ's sakes, all that for a fire element. Hell hath no fury like a oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. Well, hell hath no fury like a dragon storm. You got the fire element. Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is an embodiment of that power. Uh, what? There he is. Aha! There we go. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. That's actually a nice effect, and they still continue to roll me into there. Oh well. Whee! Scotty, get us out of here. Oh, that was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. Ah, uh, but it's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malari. Yep, time to go get the forged blade, or whatever. To be honest, I thought that he would actually do the forging for us. I actually meant to skip that, my bad. Anyway. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, you made it back safely. Fantastic. We were all starting to get worried. I think your sword might be ready. The boss was just putting the finishing touches on it a second ago. Sweet. And here is a legendary blade remade. Wow, that was fast work. But not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. You got the White Sword. Its beautiful white blade sparkles with light. You can put away your grandfather's sword now. Yep. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you that this part, but if you want to infuse a sword, you must go to the elemental 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 Sanctuary The Sanctuary is a strange realm Trapped between two worlds It is a bridge between the Minish world and the human world The doorway to the Sanctuary opens only once every hundred years Time is it Holy crap, 20 minute video Holy crap, Batman Anyway the Yeah, once every hundred years You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle once a blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you shall be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. 
After all, you made short work of that human mind. Tell me... Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from a mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance to the mine we just explored. Just follow that, and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. Yep. That hole we passed before, that's where you need to go. So, that one right there. And wherever you want to go back, now you can. We'll find out a quicker method than that, method than that later. But for now, let's get out of here. Die! I think I just went the wrong way! Wait, no I didn't. Ow! Little punk, sheesh. Eh, I don't need money. I have a hundred rubies, what's the point of that? Down, down, down to the bottom of the mountain. To the base of the mountain, be exact, the sill. I'm gonna start, stop the recording after we get the blade forged. It's not that long, really. Like you said, get back to Hyrule Castle, so here we go. Goodbye, Mr. Fox person thing. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna test something real quick. No, that squares off. I thought if I turn off the light, it'd be better, but that's actually worse than better. Ow! Yeah, give me that for compensation, you punk. Why does this sound to to so intense? I have no clue. Are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear to formal occasions. Oh, shut up, Ezlo. Why don't we speak to the king first before we go? Well, you think with the long entrance right there, you could just walk forward to see the king, but no. I go around this weird obstacle right here, then you get to see the king. They change the carpeting, too. How nice. Oh, Link, you have returned. Welcome. Did you gather the elements? What? A sanctuary, you say? Why, I've heard no such thing in my castle. Wanna fuse king stone? Yeah, why don't we fuse king stones to pieces? In this dire time? Well, like is there no harm in it. And we do have one. How nice, we get to fuse it with the king. The two king stone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Daltus. King Daltus. Like King Gaffin or something like that. It's a treasure chest somewhere. Surely we'll be visiting that place later. Ah, oh, perfect fit, my but that's it, nice. Wait, wait, whoops. Ah, perfect fit. My, but that's nice. Good luck to you. Can you fuse with you? Yes, we can. You want to use king stone pieces? Sure, why not? We also have that. That is just luck right there. I think I actually missed these guys in my attempt at 100%. Both oh, though. No, I actually got this guy, never mind. They fit perfectly. I didn't expect that. Maybe something good will happen now. We well, should expect it considering what's been happening. I mean, or not considering what's been happening. Considering they look the same, sort of. Anyway, to find that thing, just go down here, I believe. And it's just right here. Or not. Wrong place. It's on the other side of here. What was once a useless little area is now of use. This tiny little inlet garden holds the blade forge area. See? Hey, it's glowing. That can't be anything at all. Link, look. See how that doorway glows? Always pointing out what I just said. I feel like Chucky Conroy. Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary. And no, that was not intentional to say him. I didn't mean that. Nobody in the castle seems able to see it but you and me. Let's go, quickly! Well, only the child children can see the miniature, so it figures. 
Hmm. This lo looks very sacred. Maybe this is a place. And we're trapped. It's a trap! And that's a meme. That's not copyrighted. <laughs> Brixen. So this is the elemental sanctuary. Then... This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. Can I just go right here and see what happens? Nope, nothing. I wanted to check that out a while ago, but oh well. So just drop your sword in. The elements scatter over there. And they infuse themselves in your blade. It seriously looks a lot like how it did in Four Swords. With the elements scattered around and everything. They seriously need a timeline this stuff and all that. The power of the earth and fire elements have infused your blade. Uh, what? That's why I wanted to check there. Hmm, hmm. Let's see if I can't read the tab. A tablet for you. Fill your soul with power and walk over the glowing tile. Oh, you mean like the ones in front? Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor that, around you. Again, saying what I just said. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link. Okay. Like this. Whoa, you just split in two. Actually, I just made a ghost. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you can double yourself like at any time you see those panels. Actually, is it called the white sword still? Okay, two elements, yep. Yeah. Okay, good, I was, thought I was screwed up. Hmm, two spots on the ground, two links. Maybe, just maybe. Oop, I killed him. Well, the bright side is we got that done. Maybe we can talk to the king about that. Maybe we'll re-talk to the king. See if he has anything new to say after that. Besides that, we have to go up here anyway. Almost half hour. Oh well. As long as the file isn't too long, I don't care. Sanctuary is in the castle. Uh, it's another ordinary wall. Incredible! Please, just gather the remaining two elements and repair the sacred sword. I'm counting on you, Link. Never forget that. Don't worry, Zelda. I'll save you. I'm kidding. Well, of course I'll save her, but still. <laughs> well, that was a nice little visit. Nothing bad happened. They're nice to me and everything. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, really, there seems to be nothing bad happening at all today. Interesting. You're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. I'm not your master. Ah, Fatty! Fatty! And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My kiss is not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept this small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait! Fatty, wait! Uh, obviously a trap. Ah! Corner! Come on, charge you, idiot. I'm an idiot, I just let him charge into me. Come on. Huh. 
morons. May have gotten hit once, but at least I didn't get hit too many times. That fool of Addy! What could he be scheming now? Link, I feel I owe you an explanation of what's happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him um, as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans. My pride and joy. It granted the wishes of it. I swear, he put it on without, my, without permission. I feel a flashback coming on. Oh, I was right. Batty, what are you doing here? Oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile? I'm a sorcerer now. My power is beyond compare. No longer will I tie away as your apprentice. Now all shall call me master. Why, Vati, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the Light Force as my own. Huh, I don't know any Light Force, but I know a Triforce. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Oh no, Dark Ball! Ah! I'm busy. Told you. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see it, Ezlo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. You know the legends, of course, the gifts of the Picori gave the humans. What you call the Picori Blade was the first of those gifts. The second, well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Addy were getting now, it would be a devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Addy, and I met you in the world woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me anytime soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we cannot. We can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry all that has happened has been due to my own pride. My folly. Must rely on you on your power until we put an end to body. <laughs> well, Link, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next crap. Father. I'm kinda of busy recording right now. No. Sorry, my Sorry about that. Eh. <sighs> I'll put the copyright to my phone ringtone in the description. Damn it. Anyway, me end the video off here. May record something else. Well, Link, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. So, guys, see you when we return, because let me stop it right here. That was been a little special for you. A uh, 30 something minute special. And wherever this thing spawns us when we enter again. That's where I'll start off on. So, let me save up. And goodbye.